The weatherman says it's going to rain pretty heavy for the next two days. I have the Seek Outside Silex set up behind me. Fingers crossed for some good heavy rain. Thanks for joining me and let's see how this thing does. Now it's been raining pretty hard for about two and a half hours. And I don't see any, any runs in the mesh. I don't see any leaks in the seams. I don't see any beaded up water or puddles in the tub. Okay, so far so good. I'm gonna close this thing back up and check it again in a few hours. See that dripping down like that? Now here's something I'm a little concerned about. When you pull this up, it's zipperless and due to the design, these just sit here and kind of flap around. And if there was any wind at all, some water would be getting into your inner tent in your bathtub. So that's something you definitely have to be careful about. The key is, I believe, to get in here quick, give yourself some protection and then get situated. Day number two, yesterday was pretty good. We got some good solid rain, good heavy rain. Tapered off in the afternoon and then kicked right back up yesterday evening. And last night it absolutely poured. So let's take a look inside this thing and see how it did. Now I didn't slap off any of the moisture because I don't want anything to get into this tub before I have a chance to see. That is looking pretty good, nice and dry. I do not see anything in here that indicates any leaking at all. No condensation on the inner tent. Oh, I do see a little something, something right here in the corner. Let's check that out. Now down here at the foot end of the tent, I can see where there's some water running on the mesh. And there's a little bit of water beaded up right there in the tub. Not much, given the amount of rain that happened last night. But still, a little bit of a leak. I think I might know why. Yep, alright. I know what the problem is. So last night's rain was incredibly heavy. But the inside of this fly has a pretty good amount of condensation on it. And this material is getting heavy and pushing down and making contact with the inner tent wall. And due to that contact, the water is beating up and rolling down off the wall of this inner, right down to the low point right there. There needs to be more space between the outer fly and the inner nest. And the way to do that is to guy out your tent. Oh my God, I'm such an idiot. Now that creates a lot more room between the fly and the inner nest. Well, now that I am highly aware of my inferior intellectual capabilities, I have regathered myself, guide out the tent, retighten the pitch, and let's do this again. I'm really impressed with the way this tent held up in that rain last night. Not properly pitched, it was pouring, and I still would have been dry. There's a little bit of water in there, but not enough to ruin any trip. I would have been safe and protected. Today is kind of cloudy, overcast. It's not raining like they said it was going to, but the weather keeps on changing, as it does, and the weatherman says that tomorrow is a major rain event. 90% chance of some serious rain and thunderstorms. Yesterday was an interesting day for weather. We had a light to moderate rain most of the day. It'd get dark and cloudy, the rain would start, then it would taper off, the sun would come out, and it just repeated that process for most of the day until yesterday evening, the clouds started moving in and it poured. Then the sun came out while it was still raining and there was a rainbow, which was just absolutely incredible. It looked like it was right over this tent. Check that out. That's awesome. 
Then the rain stopped and the evening moved on. It looked like the rain was coming out and last night it started raining again. Now it's time to check out the inside of this tent and see how it held up to the rain. I suspect that the guy outs made a huge difference. Bone dry. It was down here at the foot end of the tent where there was water and now there's absolutely nothing, just dirt. There's no condensation at all here in the inner. Success. I am 100% confident in this tent's ability to keep me dry in nasty, nasty weather. Nice. The Seek Outside Silex. This tent, as far as I'm concerned, just passed the water test with flying colors. This tent just took multiple days of heavy rain and pitched out and guyed out correctly. It's gonna do its job and keep you dry. I will be doing a complete, full, detailed review of this tent in the near future, so keep your eye out for that if that's something you're interested in. Thank you for watching and your support of the channel. I appreciate it, and I'll see you on the next one.